No, when I was very young, uh, 12, uh, 14, I wanted to be a journalist because my father was a journalist. But uh, I lived in a small town in a niche in the south of Serbia with my grandparents. And uh, when I was 16, I come back uh, in Belgrade uh, to live with my mother and my stepfather. And my stepfather was the uh, director of the Cinematheque. So he got me a small job to take uh, tickets on the entrance. And uh, I watched the films after this little job of mine. And uh, I discovered the neorealism, the big classics, and I really fall in love with cinema. So the Belgrade Cinematheque and my stepfather, who unfortunately is not living anymore, they are the, the guilty one, let's say, guilty one for my love of cinema. Uh, as you know, 20 years ago, uh, Yugoslavian passport was one of the best in Europe. You could travel everywhere without visas and many Yugoslavs and Serbs also came in Trieste in, in this part of uh, Italy they, they are all in love with uh, Italy it's very similar to our mentality I think and uh, after that uh, came very dark period of Slobodan Milosevic period the wars as you know and all that and the young generation need a visa to go outside need the money to go outside and it's nearly impossible for them at that period to get out of the country. Two months ago we don't need a visa anymore, so it's a very good moment for, for, for Serbian youth. But can you imagine young people who are study art, for example, they don't have possibility to go to see Prado, to see Louvre, to see the Vatican Museum. So they stay uh, and, and, and it's much easier to manipulate with them, unfortunately. I don't speak Albanian, for example. I was in Albania three years ago for the first time. And I met some intellectuals, some filmmakers, who taught us me uh, without, uh, about any nationalists. And we discussed and, and we decided to try to do something together. I come back uh, in Belgrade and I told them if I find a good story, why not? Maybe two, three weeks later, I already had this uh, idea of this triptych. I sent them and, and they liked it and that's how we started to work. We had some problems normally because the nationalists didn't like it, uh, even idea that we will collaborate on the film. And the film was very successful everywhere and especially in Albania and in Serbia. So I think this film can open the door for more collaboration. We are neighbors and we don't know each other and we are divided by the bad politics with all these problems right now with Kosovo. But uh, the young people and in Albania and in Serbia, they really want to get rid of all these problems and to live normally and, and to travel and to be part of Europe. You know. But European cinema is based on, on co-productions now uh, because uh, uh, except France, uh, they defend their cinema very strongly and Germany also in, in this last period. The other countries, they don't invest uh, in, in, in the cinema. I heard that in Italy uh, they cut it off all the support for, 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 for Italian cinema, which is a kind of crime. Uh, you had very good directors, you had a glorious uh, past in cinema and uh, to close the door to, to young forces, it's, it's really crime. The small country like Serbia, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Croatia or some other countries, uh, in Austria even, we have to collaborate because we cannot to, to find the, the budget uh, uh, if we don't collaborate. We have to uh, it's, a, it's a money purpose, but it's also uh, we have to exchange creative, uh, creativity, you know, so, so I believe in these co-productions very much. Without it, uh, it's impossible to do serious films now. But I love Trieste because uh, it's a part of my youth. I came here so many times because I had the films in Pula film festivals and every year I was in Pula. So, uh, and I came in Trieste at least to, to, to drink a coffee and to... to I really love this town and today when I was going around I was really emotionally moved, you know, to recognize some places I, I really love, some cafe. And, uh, but uh, what, what is magic in Trieste is this multicultural it's a multicultural city and it's a crossroad of cultures and uh, 
It's a lot of, of positive energy here. One of the results is this wonderful festival.